Okay, we continue the former menu and reach to the melt. It's melt object that you want. For example, we begin with this sphere. As you can see, the axis of the sphere is here. <clears throat> if we hold shift as before and click on the melt, it's melt like this. As you can see, the axis of the melt going exactly to the axis of the sphere. But if you give a melt and disable that, oh, sorry, <clears throat> going to the strings, you can melt. If you um, set the strings of the melt at the zero, as you can see from the melt axis down, it removed the object, make it half. If you release the melt from the child of the sphere, as I said before, all of the purple or <clears throat> deformer command have to be child of the object. Okay, I bring the axis of the melt object exactly at the bottom of the sphere and then going, making child it. And after that, you can change it. As you can see, the strings and whole the sphere will be melt like this. Okay, this is radius. As you can see, if you incre uh, increase the radius, we have a, uh, a curve like this in our object. Okay. If you increase the, it makes, a, for example, a convex shape. If you reduce the curve, we have something like this. This slope will be happening. And here we have a random vertical, random polygon at the vertical. If you make him play, as you can see, if you increase the noise scale, you can see the randomness here. Okay. This looks like this. This is noise scale. Okay. You can change the noise scale like this. And radial randomness, as you can see, if you look at the uh, the radial or the border of the melt object, if you bring it to zero, it's going the exact circle. But if you make it random, it looks like nature and better. And the melted size, as you can see, if you set it zero, uh, 100, if it means we have a uh, radius of our <coughs> a sphere that we melt it exactly at the radius of the uh, sphere but a little more this means the melted size is exactly the size of the strings but in a uh, default it will be melt for uh, four time more I mean for example this is 100 Percent. This is 400 percent. Right click, as you can see, and melt completely the sphere. You can melt it more or less if you want. If the melted size is complete, when you uh, complete your strings, you can see what is the melted size. Okay, you can melt other object for example this tube <coughs> this tube if you don't hold shift and just click and drag to the tube because this is the center of the melt and this is the center of the tube unnormal uh, things will be happen so you have to make sure that the center of the common match the center of the object for do that you have to hold shift the center of the melt will be snapped to the center of the object and everything is everything is right now or if you want to add a melt to the object that has a hierarchy for <coughs> adopting the access uh, as you can see, this axis is not at the center. You can go into the tools, axis center two. Oh. oh, not important. You can 
change the axis like this as I said before okay I want to center it and holding shift and assign the melt release it as I said before if you want to assign uh, I make this work because I want to match the axis center axis as I said before you can insert a null object and click and drag and make both of them uh, child of the melt and the melt will be assigned to the uh, extrude and you can change the strings like this so you understand that the axis is very important in the melt uh, and that's it make sure that the uh, melt axis is exactly at the bottom you see in the uh, sphere because it cuts the object if the axis of the melt falls in a uh, upper height hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.